Super Mario All-Stars, a game on the Super Nintendo. You still with me? The game was a remake slash collection of Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3, as well as a new game, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, which was Japan's overly difficult sequel to Super Mario Bros. 1 that we never got until now. For a lot of people who never owned an NES, including myself, this was our first exposure to playing these classic Mario titles. All remastered with new music, 16-bit graphics, a snazzy intro, a cute menu selection, a save feature, Super Mario World sometimes? It was great. And this, my friends, leads us to a mysterious bootleg from the magical land of Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. An unlikely source for a bootleg Mario game. But, lo and behold, here we are. New Super Mario All-Stars HD. So, what exactly is this bootleg? What am I looking at here? Well, this is a remake of a remake using the new Super Mario Bros. Wii engine. However, this game gives you more bang for your buck. Not only are there full remakes of Mario 1, 2, and 3, The Lost Levels, and Mario World, but also Super Mario Land 1 and 2, Mario is Missing, the Donkey Kong Arcade game, and Hotel Mario! What even? Oh, but don't worry, we'll get there. So upon starting the game, you're greeted with Honestly, a pretty solid title screen for a fan game. It mimics the original Mario All-Stars with their current character models. So you know what? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Then it's time to select our game. And this is when things stop looking pretty good. Super Mario Bros. 1. Okay, I guess that's an updated version of the original box. Mario Land 2. Mario World, again, both fine and passable. Super Mario Land 1, however, that's just the original box, plus this random stock image of Mario thrown on top of it. I, I literally just made it in like two seconds. This one's just Gmod. I, I swear I've seen this Mario hanging out with Team Fortress and Left 4 Dead characters. Mario 2 and 3. They get the seal of okay. Now Donkey Kong the arcade game, here's where things get a little more not good. They used the Donkey Kong art from the Donkey Kong Country game in the 90s and mixed it with the 2000s era Mario. Not to mention the 80s arcade background and platforms. This is a graphics design nightmare. The rest of the games follow the same formula. Throw a modern picture of Mario on top of the original box art. So enough menu scrolling, let's actually play some games. Super Mario Brothers 1. Yeah, this is definitely Super Mario Bros. 1 using the new Super Mario Bros. Wii graphics. It's a pretty good remake. I always love these throwback levels in Super Mario Maker, so having the entire game remade to look like this is super charming. The only weird thing is that the backgrounds used were the same ones in the Super Nintendo Mario All-Stars, so that can be kind of jarring sometimes. But overall, it's a thumbs up remake. So let's defeat Bowser and move on. He's definitely beefier than in the original, but with enough cheating and exploiting, BAM! We can beat him! Um, yeah, I'm sure that's normal. Obrigado, Mario! Mas a nossa princesa está em outro castelo! Yep, I knew I should have paid attention during Spanish class. Super Mario Bros. 2. Again, a nice modern take on the classic Doki Doki Panic. Which was the original name of Super Mario Bros. 2 before. I gotta say, I really love the updated music as well. Since Super Mario Bros. 2 was vastly different in terms of overall gameplay, a lot had to be changed to fit within the new Super Mario Bros. rules. You can't pick up vegetables or even enemies to throw at others. Now you just simply jump on them. And remember how you had to find these potions to throw on the floor to enter the Dark World? Well, now it's all about finding hidden switches to enter the Dark World and nab yourself an item. It's a nice update. I mean, this waterfall could use some animation. And this one. But apart from that, yeah! New Super Mario Bros. 2! Not to be confused with New Super Mario Bros. 2. Alright, time for Birdo! You jump on his head once. Rest in peace. Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh! Oh no! That's definitely... a map. Again, another solid remake of the classic. Not too much to comment on. I like how at the end of the level, though, they have the random box with a star, mushroom, or fire flower. But, since you can't beat New Super Mario Bros. like that, it instead just gives you an item. 
Neat! Still can't get over this world map, though. It kinda hurts. My heart. Escola un bao u contuero de les pode aduhar vodse. That was my poor, poor Spanish. I'm sorry. Hey! I remember this minigame! New Super Mario Bros. 3 gets the thumbs up as well. Super Mario World! Probably my favorite 2D Mario game. So the map looks a little better, I guess. Aw, oh, yeah! We're at Yoshi's house! Who's Yoshi? Level 1! Okay, what's going on here? These dragons are kind of interesting. They look like edited versions of Yoshi's model. They look really cute. Which makes killing them all the more difficult. Again, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but overall, it's really charming. The quality of these levels is definitely something you'd find in Super Mario Maker. Nothing mind-blowing, just overall endearing. Oh man, I can't wait to collect all the coins in the Yellow Switch Palace in HD! Oh, that's fine. Up next is Mario is Missing, that super fun educational game. Can't wait to see what they do here. Excuse me, what? What is this background? Is that just a random freighter in Alaska or something? Uh, oh. Okay then, level one, South America. How convenient. Argentina, Buenos Aires. Buesno Airs. Listen, I'm not exactly from there, but I have a strong feeling that's INCORRECT! Oh, oh, what even is this? Did they just give up halfway through? This game was made by Brazilians! This was your chance to show off your country in a Mario game, and instead we get this? I mean, at least there's the flag of... Argentina, or Buesno Airs. This is, this is something else. All right, let's stop and take a deep breath and figure this out. Who the heck are you and why are you in my Mario game? This random cardboard cutout woman walking around like she owns the place. I can't talk to her, I can't jump on her, so why is she here? Secondly, I've never been to what, what is it, Sao Paulo? But do they have an Eiffel Tower? If so, that's awesome. What's not awesome is the Microsoft Paint level background editing. Hmm, I wonder where the picture starts and where it stops. Did I edit this background? Check this out. I literally did the game. That's what it looks like. Oh great, there's more of you people just existing. So if it isn't painfully obvious yet, Mario is Missing HD isn't an educational game, which is a plus because that game sucks. However, that means we now get a generic and pretty lackluster side-scroller. I guess to make up for that, they made these really good backgrounds to keep us immersed. Okay, let's take a break from this world traveling and head to the... information house? And my Spanish is getting better. This is a pretty nice place you got here, Toad. Overlooking New York on this island. I also like your tiny couch in front of your giant couch. I'm gonna go now. Oh, now take this from someone who's actually been to Japan. They nailed it, this is exactly what it looks like. All right, let's wash that bad taste out of our mouth with Super Mario Land, a Game Boy classic that had slightly weird physics and controls compared to other Mario games and looked like a Game Boy game. So any upgrade from that is awesome. And yeah, Super Mario Land HD is really solid. It's actually the most normal of the games we've played so far. Sure, there's the occasional weird thing, but they're very far and few between. This game rocks! Donkey Kong the Arcade Game. Holy sh**, what is this? Where do we begin? With the low quality picture of New York? Probably plastered on the background? Or how about the fact that Donkey Kong and Pauline don't exactly have the most expressive animations? They don't care if you win or lose. The game is ridiculously easy. The platforms remain the same as they did in the arcade version. However, since Mario controls really smoothly and even has a triple jump, overcoming these three obstacles isn't really hard. A for effort, F for results. Hotel Actual Mario, who thought this needed to be done? Não foi bom da princesa, nos convidar para esse pequique. Hey, Luigi. Cuidado, pause! This is so amazing. I'm glad this exists. Hotel Mario HD is technically better than the original. 
I think. At least in this game, you're not going around shutting doors. Instead, you're just playing this really basic and toned down version of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii minigames, where you need to collect these Toad coins. There's also no elevator, defeating any semblance of a challenge this game may have. Avoid the one or two enemies on a floor and collect the coin. This is pretty much baby's first Mario game. Although the soundtrack... Now there's a masterpiece. Alright, let's finish off with one last game. And let's make it a good one. Super Mario Land 2. Just like with the first Mario Land, it's not too hard to update this game's visuals and atmosphere. Again, it's really solid and fun to play. So, let's just beat it and finally end this Brazilian nightmare. Oh no. Even Wario spooked solid. Oh, of course he can hurt me, why wouldn't he? Alright, that was... hard. I'm genuinely scared to see what's in the next room. Dead baby Wario! Seriously, dead baby Wario! We're not just gonna walk on by that! Okay, yeah, never mind, just forget we saw that. Fim? With this blurry, low-res picture of Wario crying, I guess? Because he's dead now? Fim! Okay, yeah, sure, no, that's the end of the game! And they all lived happily ever after. Except for me. No. Porque y que esto mi equentoso! E